The Honest Woodcutter Once upon a time, there lived a very poor woodcutter, but he worked hard and was a very honest man. He earned a living by chopping down trees and selling the wood. But one day, he accidentally dropped his axe into the river. The woodcutter was very worried as that was his only property that could earn him money. As he began to worry, he realized that bubbles were coming out of the lake. He stopped and stared. Then something came out of the lake. Then suddenly, a fairy appeared in front of the woodcutter. Don't get scared. I'm sorry if I scared you. I heard you crying. What seems to be the problem? The woodcutter explained how he lost his axe. Don't worry about that. I'll get it for you. You can count on me. And she went under the water to get the axe. When the fairy appeared, she presented a golden axe to the woodcutter. Is this your axe? The fairy asked. Oh no, this isn't my axe, said the woodcutter. So the fairy went back into the water to look for his axe. This time, the fairy presented the woodcutter with a silver axe. Is this one yours? The fairy asked again. No, this isn't my axe either, replied the woodcutter. So the fairy went back into the water one last time. This time the fairy presented the woodcutter with a wooden axe. How about this one? Is this one your ex? That's it. That's my ex. Oh, thank you, kind fairy. I offered you a gold and silver ex. Yet, you stayed honest and asked for your own ex. As reward, take all three exes for your honesty. Back at the town village, the woodcutter explained everything that happened to him to everybody around. His words caught the attention of another woodcutter who felt very greedy and decided to do the same thing. He then purposely threw his axe into the river. Oh no, my axe, he shouted, the only source of my food and money. And with that, the fairy appeared. What seems to be the problem? I dropped my axe into the river, he replied. Oh, there's the matter. I'll get it for you. Don't worry. Fairy then went underwater to look for his axe. Is this your axe? It's the fairy as she held the golden axe in one of her hands. Yes, yes, that's my axe, he said as he tried to reach for the golden axe. But as he did, the golden axe flew away from him. You are lying with me. I am very disappointed at you. I will let you have this golden axe. Neither I will find you real axe. With that, the fairy disappeared. The man had realized that he had been too greedy and lost his chance to get a golden axe and to get back his real axe. But it was too late to get them back. The woodcutter had heard about what happened to the man and felt very bad for him. So he decided to give him a bag of gold coins so he could buy himself a new axe. The man was very grateful for what the woodcutter had done. He had learned his lesson, promised to stay honest from now on. The End